have a common misconception of being loaded, creamy and overindulgent. But if you cook it right, you have great flavors coming together. Today, I'm going to recreate a magic from one of my restaurants, which was a sage infused, gorgeous, beautiful butternut risotto. Warm flavors coming together without the overloaded essence. Don't forget to subscribe and hit on the bell icon for many more of this journey that we are creating. Out here, I've roasted some gorgeous, beautiful butternut. And this is one of my favorite squashes that I enjoy creating a risotto with. The creaminess is spellbinding. While roasting it does bring out its flavor, all you need to do is scoop it up and puree it. I create risottos with all the hacks, ensuring that it's super flavorful and not overloaded. So into a hot cast iron goes in nearly 20 mils of extra virgin olive oil. And this gives you that sharp flavor that's required, along with four cloves of garlic, finely chopped humongous cloves, just allow them to sweat, you do not want them to brown. As this sizzles and scents the entire kitchen, into that same bowl goes in two leeks finely shredded, just to give it some kind of depth and awesome character. So saute this and allow it to get that luscious green color. Two minutes of sauteing this and with it nearly 50% done and you see the shades of green coming through. In goes two cups of Arborio rice that has just been washed once so that you remove out any unnecessary starch that's required. And now comes the fun part of stir frying this, sauteing it. Even if it sticks to the bottom, allow it to get nice and opaque and absorb that olive oil, garlic and leek scents from within. Sweating arborio rice requires nearly three to four minutes and work at it as suits you. So you can do it on a high flame if you have that kind of experience or go at a more stable flame, but ensure the rice gets opaque and more importantly gives out that toasty aroma. As you saute this, now comes the part of just adding some Chenin Blanc or any white wine that you have, nearly a cup of it, allowing the rice to absorb all those flavors through and through. allowing the wine to get absorbed into that rice and the rice starts to plumb up a bit. You need to stir it so that it's well absorbed and just bask like me in the flavor and the scents that come through and through. Sauteing this for another minute to a minute and a half before adding in some water or vegetable stock. Risotto cooking follows the principle of one cup of arborio rice to two cups of water. So since I've already added a cup of wine and gone a bit rogue in the process, now comes the part of adding some hot water. So three cups, I'm dividing it into two batches, one batch in, and we are going to reserve the other part. While I'm creating a very simple, healthy version of a risotto, you can replace water with vegetable stock or even some chicken stock if it suits you fine. Perfectly absorbed and as the rice blooms up, loose as possible, in goes the second part of just normal cooking water. And if you've noticed, I've not seasoned this as yet because salt creates havoc to the cooking style of this great creation. So season it always right at the end. As the water begins to get absorbed, now is the time to add that 
gorgeous puree. Right in the center goes in the puree that we had created of the roasted nut, that's the butternut, and just allow it to mix in, giving it that orange yellow hue. I roasted this at 180 degrees Celsius for a good 40 minutes till it absorbs all its flavors and gets nice and concentrated. So mix this through and through, let the colors work its magic and a quick stir till everything emulsifies really well. And now it's about seasoning it. And I'm using a flavored salt like celery sea salt just to season this through and through. The specks of celery just accentuate the flavor. I'm creating a really large batch, half for us and half for a friend, a darling rather, who has been quite subtly hinting about this risotto for a very, very long time. The beauty about this risotto is when you use a squash like this, you don't really need to add cream because the fruit in itself, that's the gorgeous nut, which is the butternut, has so much of flavor and depth. So into this, all you need to add is about 100 grams of grated Parmesan cheese, a quick stir, and you're ready to garnish. The creaminess of the squash is perfect. All you need to do is now switch off the flame, create a little depth or a well in the center and garnish this. And I like garnishing it with chunks of the fruit from within. So out here I've got one nut, that's the butternut that I've just cut into cubes and boiled it. And we're going to garnish it with some sage. And what I've done to the sage is I've just dusted it in some rice flour and fried it till it got nice and crisp. Garnishing this is what gives it all its flavor through and through. The crunch of the sage works its elegance perfectly into this. We need to eat this immediately now. An elegant midweek lunch to enjoy with the family. The flavors are sharp and you definitely know that it's healthy with minimum overload into it. Now while I've created this with Arborio rice, you can get so experimentative and create it with some red rice or even go ahead and use some barley. Flavors that merge really well with the gorgeous butternut. I hope you enjoyed creating this with me. Don't forget to share loads of love by hitting on the like button. Stay safe, stay blessed, and more importantly, don't forget to subscribe.